Good afternoon, morning, night, wherever you're at. All right. Hey guys, Carl here. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the Easy Rig. Uh, let's jump into it. No hands. This is the Easy Rig Mini Max. It retails for about $1,200. They're very hard to get. Can't find them used. Trust me, I tried. It's uh, kind of an invaluable piece of equipment at this point. Um, I shoot a lot of things handheld, and handheld seems to be my favorite style of shooting. I have a gimbal. I have a uh, Ronin RS3 Pro. There's so many different versions out there, I can't tell which one's which anymore. But for this spe specific setup, uh, I've been using this for about two, two and a half, three months now, uh, just like this. Easy Rig, FX6, kitted out like this. Um, for the most part, sometimes I'll run my uh, XLR handle on it also, and then I'll run my monitor out over here to the uh, left-hand side of the unit. But I find this to be my best setup. Uh, the Easy Rig handles about 17, 16, 17 pounds. I found that I can probably get away with about 20 pounds on here. So if I'm running like, uh, right now I'm shooting this on the A7S III with the 7200. If I run the 7200 on this in this exact same configuration with a matte box, it comes out to about that, you know, 18, 17, 18, 19 pounds. Uh, if I'm running any kind of, um, XLR mic on there or a sounds if I'm running like a, a zoom um, Recorder on here. Sometimes I'll run that if I don't have my XLR handle plus you can shoot in 32-bit float So it makes it nice, but yeah, it, it gets pretty it gets kind of heavy uh, It'll get more shaky with the more weight you put on it. I have my bright tangerine cash boss side handle here so that way I can kind of suck it into my to my shoulder and Have it really stable and no weight. I was getting it Man, this thing, it gets so heavy. I was filming some stuff just handheld without the easy rig on and my wrist, I found that my wrist was like carpal tunnel. Like I'd get home or done with my project and it was like, I would feel it in my wrist for a couple days and like the top of my hand. Even this, even this kind of bend down motion right here kind of wears on you after a while, but I'm not complaining. This makes it so much better, the easy rig does. Now, one thing I really wanna talk about is I have a lot of people have asked me why would you run this over a gimbal? Or, or that setup's not gonna fit on a gimbal or things like that. And not everything has to be on a gimbal. Uh, it's definitely project by project or, or tool by tool basis. I personally really like the feel and the look of handheld shooting. Now that's not to say that every customer wants handheld footage. They don't want shaky, you know, B cam, B roll type stuff. They want this nice, crisp, clean Ronin, look to it, cinematic, movie-ish uh, type of stuff, or high frame rate, you know, that kind of thing. And that's just different time and place. If I'm doing like a documentary type thing, I want it to have a little bit of like movement in it. I don't want it to be just locked off and stable on somebody's face, which isn't a bad thing. Um, and it just depends on customer base. If I'm shooting something personal, it's all gonna be handheld for 99% of it. Uh, and most of the time, if I'm shooting in my kitchen or if I'm shooting out with my you know wife or or friends or whatever, it's probably gonna be on my A7S III handheld, not even like this handheld. I mess around with this at home every once in a while, but I'm not going for a walk in the park with a easy rig and a, you know, FX6 unless it's for a project or I'm getting paid for it. So just different tools for different jobs. This specific setup came in handy when I was on a fire shoot. I've done two of them with this whole setup um, since I got it and it just made it so nice. All day I was in the heat, walking around, had uh, fire stuff on, here's a picture of me on the burns, and um, this whole thing smells like smoke actually right now because it's it's in the fabric, so you can smell this, some of the smoke on it, but I like that, patina, we're getting there. But uh, yeah, it just it saved my back. You know, I did have a little bit of, of pain in my upper back, like in between my shoulder blades, and I think that's mainly just from wearing it for so long. Uh, I mean, I was on it, I was on this whole setup for about five hours both times. And even the times I wasn't using it, I would take it off the easy rig and I would walk around 
you know, with my camera in my hand, so I was getting tired also. Yeah, it's just so heavy comparatively. But it saved my back. I really do think that, and it's just so much more comfortable to carry it around like this than opposed to than opposed to just carrying around in hand all day. Uh, the other thing that was really fun is I, I, had a, I had my A7S III on the side of me if I really wanted to take some photos also, or if I wanted to grab something in a different frame rate real fast, if I didn't want to switch this thing all around to do the other stuff. So I would just pull up my camera, take some photos, no hands, you know, I can push this thing over to the side, no problem either way. And uh, then I can take some photos real quick and move on to my next thing, or just pick my camera back up and shoot, drop my camera, usually with the 7200 on it, and then keep going. Uh, it just made it really nice, honestly. And that's just kind of the, the name of the game when it comes to the easy rig. It's just, it does what it's supposed to do. There's no frills about it. It's just a piece of equipment that is pretty simple. Made in Sweden, all the parts are replaceable. Um, yeah, I have nothing else, I have no negatives to this thing besides maybe the price and availability. Uh, but besides that, I, it's just it's a tool that I think everybody should have in their arsenal if you can afford it and if you're you know using these tools uh, the way that you know a lot of us are, it's just good to have. And there there's there's some cases against it too. You know, in tight confined spaces, I was in and out of a UTV, and when I was in the UTV, I was you know bent over in it like this, trying to keep this thing. I'm hanging out the side of it. You know, I'm holding onto this and then, then my camera and the and the door all at the same time, you're trying to make sure that I'm not gonna fall out of the thing. And uh, the other time I was on the, in the back of a UTV filming, so I'm down, you know, filming like this on the, uh, the trailer, here's a shot of that. And I would find myself, you know, trying really hard not to get taken off by like a branch or, or something, you never know. But, uh, but yeah, with that said, like, I don't really have anything more to say about it. I just think that it's a cool piece of equipment and I really wanted to, to emphasize the fact that there's different tools for every job. And if you're looking for something that's gonna do everything, there's not that tool out there. You know, sometimes you, you need this to be able to just run, run and gun, I hate that term, but sometimes you just need this type of setup just to like get out and get into something instead of a gimbal that might act weird or do certain things. And gimbals have their place. I think they're great. I use them quite a bit actually for, uh, for like beauty shots on, on trucks or cars or uh, the establishing shots for a building or, or stuff like that. I use them all the time. I think they're great. But if I'm you know shooting in a, in a building or if I'm with somebody and uh, we're just doing you know one-on-one -on -one conversation or something like that, nine times out of 10, use my easy rig with my you know camera, like so, something like this set up right here. I could use the A7S III all built out or the FX6 all built out. Just makes it, it makes it nice. Um, yeah, a couple straps on it. So you got this top strap here, got a waist strap down here. Kind of stand up and show you the waist strap. You can, you can see that it kind of looks like I'm a Ghostbuster you know, with my, my backpack on. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah, kind of cool. But yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say about it. It's just an invaluable piece of equipment that I think um, works well, does what it's supposed to do. And yeah, if you have any questions about it, leave a comment down below. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like to. Maybe subscribe if you haven't. Always putting out you know, new content like this. And uh, yeah, thanks. thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.